Things are a bit wild here at RBG this winter. We're hosting the exhibit Wildlife Rescue to explore conservation efforts around the world and right here in Ontario. So when you come visit, you can discover the rescue stories of animals like pandas and California condors and even animals that we have here in Ontario like turtles. Now on weekends, we have live animal ambassadors joining us from local groups who work with non-releasable native animals, uh, including Speaking of Wildlife. So hi, Crystal. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about Speaking of Wildlife? We're a wildlife education center uh, that houses non-releasable Ontario wildlife. So many of our animals have been injured, orphaned, abandoned, or illegally kept as pets, and now they're finding permanent sanctuary with us. Wonderful. So who do we have here? This is Larry, and Larry is a Virginia opossum. He was found when he was just a baby, only 100 grams, way too young to be on his own. Uh, and when they found him, they noticed something kind of strange about him. He actually doesn't have any eyes, so he's completely blind. Ooh. Never would have survived in the wild on his own. Wow, and so now he has a very important job, right? Yes, now Larry can travel all over the province teaching people about Virginia opossums. Wonderful. Now, what other kinds of animals might people see when they come on the weekend? I always like to mention that our animals are the boss, so they make their own schedules. Uh, but you might see Larry the opossum, you might see Chanel, the striped skunk, maybe Wawa, the Canada goose, we've got Ka, the garter snake, or Will Scarlet, the red-tailed hawk, we've got a little bit of everything. Wonderful. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing some of these animals and learning more about wildlife rescue. Now, if people want to help, what's something that they can do? One of the most important things I'd say is that if you find an animal in distress, an animal that needs help, mm -hmm. uh, to reach out to local wildlife rescues, rehabilitation centers, shelters, uh, reach out to the experts and ask them what to do so that that animal gets the proper care right away. Um, and if you've got the time, you've got the resources, reaching out to those centers again and volunteering your time or maybe donating to the cause, that kind of thing. Wonderful. Okay. Well. That's really exciting, and I know you're coming back to see us a few more times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be back on Family Day weekend. Uh, we'll be back again in March and April, too. We're really looking forward to it. Excellent. So we've got, again, live animal ambassadors every weekend and a few other days, some special days like holidays and March break, uh, as well as different programs throughout the week. Uh, so we hope that you can join us and learn more about wildlife rescue and conservation efforts. So thank you very much, Crystal, and thank you, Larry. Thanks for having us.